Princess Elizabeth next. Eight introduced back in 1946. Open to overseas entries. And away they go. King's College School on the Berkshire Station to the left of your picture and Dulwich College to the right. This is the London derby. It is. Chelsea against Arsenal. Or the equivalent. King's College School against Dulwich College. Dulwich just flirting with danger. Correcting that. Oh, over-correcting perhaps. Veering out into the middle of the water. It's tough for the cocks on the buck station at the start of the race. It is. It's, uh, this is the, between the end of the island and the first boom. There is a little bit of stream that comes in and tends to push the bows out. And a few of the crews have been caught out by that already. They're presumably been practicing and rehearsing and drilling since they arrived here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was speaking to a coach of the day and he, he couldn't understand why it was happening. American coach. But unless you know the water, you don't realise why it's happening. But here it looks like King's College School moving out to clear water by the, you know, quite, quite quick order there. Dulwich trying to settle into something. Join the action at Forley. A little bit of steering over there by Dulwich to look over on the way to the booms. Looks like the Cox might have corrected just in time. But King's College School really making quick work of this. Looking very neat, actually. Good blade work. Boat's running very nicely. Smooth progress, King's College School there. Looking pretty rhythmic. The water's perfect, isn't it? It looks so still. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Look at that. What a fabulous view. Hopefully the athletes can really enjoy this kind of race when they're up like this on a day like this. Get the first nerves out of the way. You've made a, done your first start properly. It's all worked. You're in, in a good rhythm. And then the cops seems to be moving slightly over towards the middle of the station. Enjoyed a bit of success already this year, making the A final at the National Schools Regatta, finishing ninth overall at the school's head. Winners of the C final of the Championship 8 at Marley Regatta, not too far from here, down the water. Yeah, they've done a very good job this year. They, they, that programme has been building steadily as well. Whereas the other programme at Dulwich, the coach, uh, Jason Foster, has just moved down from Scotland. And as he's been there for six or seven months, I'm sure he's going to try and build some sort of programme from this. King's College leading plenty of clear water for them. They're based on the Putney Embankment in London, just over the road from Craven Cottage, a football ground, Fulham's football ground, and it's a busy stretch of the water down there, isn't it? We've never taken a walk from Putney Bridge down the towpath. There are so many boathouses and uh, rowing clubs based there. Yeah, it's a real community. It's really, there's so many clubs and people of all age groups all there training on the weekends. It's, it's a great atmosphere down there. Cambridge University also boat out of there on boat race weekend. Yeah, they go down there for the fixtures and for the, the run into the main race. So as they head down towards the enclosures, the regatta enclosure, stewards. So there are quite a few athletes that are in the King's College School who have been part of the junior trialling process this year for the British national team. So there are some good athletes built inside this crew. And here, they look very comfortable with the way they're wearing, very simple, simple rowing there. Keeping it very calm, preserving energy, because they're going to have more gruelling match-ups than this, aren't they, in the next couple of days? Yeah, the Princess of Lydia is a tough event. The depth and the standard is fantastic. And these are young athletes, and having to keep repeating these performances day after day, it's pretty gruelling. One of the more historic events, as I say, introduced in 1946. Princess Elizabeth. The first race coincided with the first visit of Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth, who's now known as Her Majesty the Queen. What was also impressive with these athletes that come here, they're, they're doing a lot of these are in the upper six and they're doing A-levels and they carry on training fully through their A-levels. They don't stop and just do their exams. They have to keep training through the summer term. And they manage to balance both those things and still come here and perform. It's fantastic. And their teachers hope they manage to balance both. Their parents. Probably. We'll see when A level results come out if they successfully do that. King's College School then. Off the Berkshire Station. First home. Drop that rate down to a pool now. They look very comfortable. And their coach last year looked after the, the junior eight of the World Championships to British Eight. They won a gold medal. So he's a really excellent row coach. And they the way to grow really nicely. So King's College School through safely to the next round of the Princess Elizabeth. 
by a stretch from Dulwich College. The London Derby convincingly won by King's College School.